I believe uh, what Yakan has come up with and the sort of structure that they have put in place, uh, I have been impressed with um, uh, the passion. You know, leadership is driven not just by vision, but also by passion. Uh, she has passion for what she does. It amazes me how much uh, a person does, actually against great odds. Uh, because I'm uh, aware of some of the difficulties she has faced, financial, material, and up to the very last minute, she kept on moving. And as we have seen over these five years, doors always open. Uh, it takes passion to do that. It, it takes self-belief. It takes faith in God to be able to achieve that. So that for me has been the touchstone of this program, for me to be able to, uh, to commit myself to it. Leadership as we know, uh, it's at several levels. You have political leadership. For me, you also need leadership at several levels. Even in schools, you need a leader. You need leaders in industry. You need leaders in all sectors of life. Uh, oftentimes, political leadership will trump other leadership. Uh, we talk so much about political leadership, but I believe that we need leadership at the level of industry. Uh, that is one area we need people to be empowered. That is an area that we need for Africa to begin to go into the nuances and the complexities of actually understanding industrialization, understanding construction, understanding agribusiness. We need to have leadership at those levels. And this is what uh, Timeless is providing. Uh, this program has been signaling uh, this very important uh, aspect that is missing in many of our countries. What Timeless is pushing for is precisely what we have needed for the last maybe quarter of a century. After political independence, you need economic liberation. Uh, and I believe that this is really something that should be supported and promoted. Uh, when a continent such as ours with such huge resources along these sub-teams, youth, women, and so forth, are totally underutilized. We will never optimally uh, use the assets that we have. Uh, so I, I think this will be a, a turning point in the, in the life of Timeless. Uh, I pray that, you know, uh, what the dream they have will find expression in practical ways to move forward. Uh, this is our region. Uh, Africa needs to be unshackled from the uh, afflictions of poverty, uh, inequality, and, um, and uh, deprivation from all manners that we have faced. This is the time for Africa to take that mantle, to be able to fill that void but that comes with, you know, uh, developing the productive capacity, training, not just schooling, but also very, being very specific, uh, being very specific about which areas, which sectors, which particular skills do we need to be able to take that mantle on. This is the time for Africa to step up, uh, move up in the value chain, uh, move away from simply producing raw materials for others to convert and begin make agriculture a business.